after talking about PV modules, PV cells and inverters, now we want to interconnect the PV modules uh, to a PV system and um, have a look at what will happen with the current, with the voltage and with the power of our PV, uh, PV system. So, interconnection of PV modules, that's the topic. First of all, let's define a PV module. So we have, this is our PV module, that's the icon. And let's say, okay, the UMPP is 30 volts. Let's think about the open circuit voltage, UOC, that is 40 volts. Then the current at the maximum power point, that shall be 10 amperes. And the short circuit current is 11 amperes. That gives us a power of 30 times 10, so 300, 300 watt peak. Of course, these values are valid under standard testing conditions. So you remember the standard testing conditions, so the lab conditions. That is, uh, that the irradiance is 1000 watts per square meter. We have a module temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and the air mass, so the, uh, the atmosphere, 1.5. So these are the standard testing conditions, STC. How does the, the IV curve look like? So let's make a quick sketch. We have the I here. That is 10 amperes, 5 amperes, and then we take this. That is the voltage. So, oh, wait a minute, we need. Three four, so that's the voltage. We have uh, 10 volts and this is 40 volts. So what do we have? We have the MPP, the MPP is over there. Here we have the UOC and then that is ISC and that is the slope of the curve, of the IV curve, the characteristic. So that is here that the MPP, the maximum power point with uh, 10 amperes and 30 volts and that is the slope of our curve and now what we want to have a look at is what is happening if we interconnect this module um, in series and what is happening if we connect the module uh, in parallel so that we get strings uh, and what is happening if we take this interconnection of modules in series and in parallel uh, that we get a PV system. First step is the interconnection connection in series. We take our module and add a second one. And let's say we take a third one. So that is a connection series. So we call this interconnection in series. That is the module string. And now what is happening with the voltage and the current? So we have the voltage and the current of module number one, voltage and current of number two, and the current and the voltage of module number three. Um, as you know, um, it's the, the modules are a DC power source, so they behave like batteries, for example. So if you connect batteries in series, what do you do? You increase the voltage and the current keeps constant. So on the one hand, we have the total voltage. That is the voltage of module number one plus the voltage of module number two plus the voltage of module number three. And this gives us three times the voltage of just one module. And the total current in this module string that keeps unchanged, so um, that the total current is just the current of the module. And 
the power of our uh, of our system if we consider what is the total power of our uh, system we have u total times i total and that is three times u times i and that is three times pmpp so um, the total power is three times the power of just one module and finally let's have a look at the rv curve so we have current and voltage and think about that this is the RV curve of the fall of the first module then what is happening if we add a second one um, we increase the voltage so we are over there and the third module what is happening we go over there so the green curve gives us the IV curve of this module string with three uh, three modules so this is here u oc1 this is uh, twice uoc and this is three times uoc so that is the IV curve in green, these dots represent uh, the MPP. So finally, the ma maximum power point is, uh, has shifted to the right hand side. We increased the power um, by a factor of three. And that is what we get if we interconnect uh, modules in series, that we get a module string. How does the interconnection in parallel look like? So we have the interconnection in parallel. So what is happening now? We take our first module, then we add a second one in parallel. And we take a third one again connected in. Parallel. And what is happening with, uh, with the voltage, with the current, the total current, of course, as you know this from other DC power sources like batteries, um, the current is the sum of each power source. So this is three times the current of just one module. And the total voltage, of course, keeps unchanged, and there is no change in the uh, in the voltage. And of course, this gives us the total power of the system. That's again u total times i total, and that is three times u times i. And then this is three times the PMPP of just one module, and the IV curve, of course. That is I, and then that is the voltage. And think about uh, that this is our IV curve, UOC and ISC. And if we add a second module in parallel, what is happening, of course, the voltage keeps unchanged, and we get twice the ISC. And then adding third module in parallel, what we get is this IV curve that the, the current increases, the voltage keeps unchanged, and again we shift the power now um, in this direction that the total power P and P, P total is three times the power of just one module. And that is the idea of the interconnection uh, of PV modules in parallel, that we can increase the current. And finally, what we'll have a look at is what is happening if we interconnect PV modules first uh, in series, that we get module strings, and then uh, in a second step that we take these module strings and interconnect them in parallel. So what is then happening with uh, I, with V, and with P. So, interconnection of PV modules. We 
take is we take our first module, take a second one, and a third one. So we get this module string. And then let's take a second string with the same number of modules connected in series. And let's take a third one. So we have three strings with three modules each and interconnect them in this way. What is happening? First of all, uh, we have the interconnection in series. So the total voltage of one string is three times the voltage and the current keeps unchanged. So the current of a string is just the current of one module. And now we connect these uh, strings in, in parallel. So what is then happening? Of course, uh, we have here I1, I2, I3. So that the total voltage keeps unchanged if we connect these strings in parallel. But the current changes that we get three times the current and the voltage as I said, it does not change. Um, and then, of course, this gives us the total power. That is three times the voltage, because we have three modules in a string. So that is U total times three times I, because we have three strings, I total. And this is, of course, 9 times u times i, so 9 times p and p, p. So, of course, as we have 9 modules in total, the power is, is increased by a factor of 9, um, and that gives us a total, uh, total power of, in, the, in this case, of uh, 2.7 kilowatts, as one module has a power of uh, 300 watts peak. How does the AV curve look like of this uh, PV system? Um, so what we have is uh, this is the current, and then we have this is the voltage. And let's think about this is the AV curve of just one module. First of all, we have the interconnection series, so we get this IV curve, so that is the IV curve, three times UOC, and then we take this string and add a second and the third one, so that is the situation if we have just two strings with a length of three modules uh, in a string, and then this is three times ISC, that is the IV curve we get uh, if you interconnect nine modules um, in series and in parallel, uh, of course, that's the MPP of just one module, and we shift the MPP over there that we have nine times uh, the power of just one module. And that is uh, the reason why we interconnect the modules. We want to increase the voltage, we want to increase the current, um, and then we get a higher voltage, higher current, and um, get a, a larger power. What you have to keep in mind is that the length of the strings uh, should be um, always the same so that you have the same number of modules interconnected in a string, so in this case three modules in a string. Um, if you mix uh, different strings with a different number of modules interconnected in series, then you will get a mixture of the voltage which makes it rather complicated to, to derive the current and the voltage. So um, what typically is done uh, if you interconnect the modules, if you set up your PV system, keep the length of the strings uh, on the same level so that the number of modules in a string is all th always the same, um, not to get uh, a more complicated calculation for the voltage and the current. What we finally need to uh, consider, of course, is now we have the DC power coming from our PV modules. And what we need to do is we need to add an inverter 
to transform the DC power to AC power that this AC power can, can fed into the grid. There are different concepts uh, of enrichers and uh, PV module interconnections and we will have a look at this uh, in the next step.